Welcome to the Find and Navigate the Tutorial video, part of the Session 1 Setup portion of the MetPlus 4.0 online tutorial. This video covers how to get started with the MetPlus 4.0 online tutorial, including where to find the tutorial pages and how to get started. The content in this video corresponds to the online tutorial section titled MetPlus Setup, which is found in Session 1 MetPlus Setup slash Grid to Grid. To find the online tutorial, navigate to dtcenter.org, then select MetPlus from the Community Code drop-down menu. Next, click on User Support. You may not see the menu bar on the right side of the window. This occurs when the width of the window is not large enough to display it. If this is the case, navigate to the bottom of the page to find this menu. You can also adjust the zoom or width of your window and it should appear on the right hand side. Next click on the Tutorial Online button. And finally, click on the link for the MetPlus version 4.0 tutorial. Previous versions of the online tutorial can also be found here in PDF format. The first page of the online tutorial describes the format of the instructions. Text blocks inside dark gray boxes with bold white text can be copied from the browser and pasted into the command line terminal. Text blocks inside yellow boxes contain important information or hints. Text blocks inside light blue boxes contain instructions for the user to perform. And text blocks inside light gray boxes contain sample output from a command or contents of a file. Please note that some of the commands listed in the tutorial instructions Use specific applications like VI to open or edit files and Ocular to view PDF, PostScript, and image files. Users are encouraged to use their preferred tools instead of these suggested tools if they are more comfortable with them. Also please note that if you are running the ins tutorial instructions inside a Docker container, then the visualization tools used in the tutorial may not be available inside the container. To run these commands, you will have to mount the output directory inside Docker to your local file system and run those tools from there. And here we have the first instruction of the tutorial telling us to click the link that will take us to the next page of the tutorial. This next page contains a brief overview of the MetPlus wrappers and a list of links to useful resources such as the user's guide and the GitHub pages for the various MetPlus components. This page describes the prerequisites for running the tutorial instructions. It is assumed that you have already installed MetPlus, including the Met executables and the MetPlus wrapper scripts, and that you have obtained the sample input data needed to run the exercises. If you are going through the tutorial on a machine that has been pre-configured to run the tutorial, such as Hera or Cheyenne, then these steps have already been completed for you. If you are going through the tutorial on your own workstation, then you will need to perform the installation steps yourself. If you have not already done so, you can refer to the installation videos and the user's guide. Click on the appropriate link to navigate to the instructions that are specific to the environment you are using. For all environments, the instructions include steps to determine a working area for the tutorial, creating a directory that will contain your configuration and output files, and copy a few files into the directory. If you are running on your own workstation, we provide instructions for using Bash and C Shell. We recommend using Bash if you do not have a preference. The next video in this tutorial depends on the environment you are using. If you are running the tutorial on a pre-configured environment such as Hera or Cheyenne, watch the setup pre-configured environment video next. If you are running the tutorial on your own computer, watch the setup user workstation environment video next. If you have any questions, please visit the MetPlus GitHub Discussions Forum. On this page, you can check if your question has already been asked by another user or create a new discussion topic. Other useful resources, such as the User's Guide and Contributor's Guide, can be found on the Developmental Testbed Center webpage. All of the links can also be found in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.